close here distance wise to Ralston. So I definitely, again, need to take those tornado precautions right now, just in case uh, this does try to wrap up and uh, form a tornado. So at the moment, uh, let's switch over to correlation coefficient. I'm not seeing anything on here that would indicate that we've got any debris getting lofted into the storm. That is certainly some good news, but uh, we'll continue to check on that as well uh, with this. Switching over to rotation, you can see right here is the main area that we've got concerned. Uh, you do sometimes get quite a bit of spin and vorticity on the leading edge of that RFD, but that is not of any concern of a tornado. But sometimes you do get quite a bit of shear on that. The main concern is going to be back here to the north and to the west. And you can also see quite the hail core on this too. Uh, we'll switch it back over to hail and uh, notice uh, again, probably quite a bit of hail, maybe not as uh, uh, big as far as uh, some of the returns that we were getting just earlier, but let's click on this and probably getting up to about, yeah, maybe inch, inch and a half diameter hail it looks like as we click here in some spots again. So again, inch hail is considered severe. So we do have this uh, storm warned uh, severe wise as well for the potential for some hail here from Fairfax back over to around Ralston as well. So let's go ahead and remove that. We'll go back here to the velocity data. Let's do storm relative velocity. You can see where we're really pulling in the inflow into the storm with these strong inbounds. And then right here is where that rotation is going to be. And again, it's about ready to cross over here, the Arkansas River once again. We'll zoom in just a little bit closer. Uh, to get a closer look at this. So again, this is the area of concern. It's coming right across the Arkansas River right now. So there is the outbound here. There's our inbounds. And so there is the rotation. So again, here is Ralston right here. I would certainly want to take your tornado precautions right now in Ralston. Make sure you're in an interior room. Uh, the smaller that room, the better. If you've got a closet that's uh, in an interior closet or bathroom, that is even better yet uh, because those uh, tighter walls tend to hold a little better than areas that have more space between them. Uh, so that would certainly be a good thing to do as well. So lowest floor, interior uh, room. If you can get underneath something to protect yourself, do that. Helmets, always good to wear and make sure you've got shoes to protect your feet as well, uh, just in case there does happen to be any sort of damage. Let's uh, zoom out just a bit here, get a look at what we've got ongoing here elsewhere across the region. Again, we've got James Rogers. He's keeping a close eye on this. It's going to be tracking to his location here where we've got that circulation. We've been watching some storms here in Kansas right now. The strongest of those storms, thankfully, have stayed north of our forecast area here from Chautauqua County and into Montgomery County, but still got to watch these closely by far right now the one storm that we've really got to watch is this one here tornado warning continues here for Pawnee County and parts of Osage County right now western portions of these counties uh, northern portions here of Pawnee County and as this comes downstream if this storm were to hold together I just want to point this out uh, because this is the strongest storm we've got right now in the area you can just kind of draw a line here uh, to the east. So if the storm were to hold together, you can see it's going to continue this track here, possibly across southern Washington County, maybe northern Tulsa County, eventually in the Rogers County, possibly here, Mays, or perhaps a Craig County. Long way to go before we get to that point. But for those communities here just downstream, I want you to know that at the moment with the way this storm is tracking, this storm could eventually work into your area here. We're also looking here around Grove, Grand Lake to around Jay. Again, we're looking at areas Areas here to the east that are well over an hour away from uh, maybe even a couple hours uh, it'll take for this storm to get this far east but need to watch that closely because this storm right now is quite organized and uh, right now circulating and, and rotating enough to produce a tornado warning so let's zoom back in here a little bit James Rogers we've got to you back up here let's see if we can get the James shot here get a look at what he is seeing from his location again he had a video earlier with all the lightning striking around and there you can see he's working right along here, areas along Highway 99, and uh, you can see occasionally some flashes of lightning. He's just working to position himself uh, as this storm does move off to the east. Looks like he's dropping south to maybe down to around Hominy. And for those of you that have driven across this part of Osage, uh, you know that the construction ongoing there with some of the bridges and stuff, it can be a little difficult to navigate. you got some stoplights there where you go down to one lane, uh, so best to get in that to position safely and give yourself a little extra time to do that. And that's exactly what James is doing right now. Brandon, you've been watching this storm as well. What have you got, Brandon? 
That's right, Michael. Uh, just checking in with uh, some of the storm spotters across the area, other spotters looking at this intense supercell, and they are indicating a funnel has been spotted just to the south of Fairfax and also near James's location. He's approaching the Hominy area. It looks like Hominy is sounding the sirens right now, even though they're just on the outside of the tornado warning, at least the city center is on the outside. They're sounding those sirens in Hominy just as a precaution over the next couple of minutes, Michael. I uh, appreciate that. And yeah, you can see where Hominy is there on the uh, map that we've got there. Uh, and again, Hominy's right here. There's James Rogers. And you can see there's our supercell right here. There's the hook uh, with this supercell. So the most dangerous part of the storm is right back in this area here. And that's what's going to be tracking its way to the east. Again, those of you downwind here, Hominy, uh, even uh, areas here, Pawhuska, Barnsdall, eventually here in the parts of uh, Washington County, Ramona, and uh, northern portions here, Tulsa County need to watch this storm closely as it gradually moves here off to the east, but a fairly violent storm right now, uh, right over northern uh, Pawnee and western portions of Osage. So let's switch it back over here to velocity data. I switched it over to the Tulsa radar. We'll get another look also uh, from uh, Vance Air Force Base. The storm's right now almost between the two radar sites, and the circulation not nearly as tight with what we've got here on this particular scan, but if we switch it over to uh, Vance Air Force Base, that might give us a, oops, let me go back to velocity here. Uh, you can see also, uh, again, maybe Maybe not quite as tight a circulation here as what we had earlier, but as uh, pointing out, this is right near Ralston. So that circulation here coming very close to Ralston, maybe just south here of Ralston at the moment. So this is going to continue to track its way to the east and perhaps maybe uh, with the way it's moving right now, maybe just uh, maybe a slight jog to the south here from uh, how it was moving earlier, but to need to watch this closely here. Again, I mentioned it earlier, Ralston need to take those tornado precautions right now. Absolutely need to do so. Uh, that rotation is right next to you at the moment, and this is going to continue to track its way to the east. Again, Hominy is right here, technically just outside of that tornado warning, but as Brandon was pointing out, the, sound, the uh, sirens right now are sounding in Hominy uh, just as a precaution, a little early heads up with what is out here to the west, because if this uh, continues, very likely that we'll see this uh, tornado warning extended farther to the east. But again, there's your green inbounds back to the radar site at uh, Vance Air Force Base. Here are the red outbounds here. And so our circulation is right in here. We can switch it to storm relative velocity and uh, that may give us kind of a, a cleaner picture into this storm. And uh, let me go ahead and remove that uh, warning off of there. And again, you can see the inbounds here right near Ralston. And again, the outbounds not showing up as pronounced. Maybe as we get down here uh, to the north of Skidee, perhaps uh, we've got that. But uh, again, uh, from Joe uh, back over to around Skidee, seeing a little bit more of the outbounds here and then our inbounds back here. So pretty broad area of circulation, but right there it is, and that's right in that tornado warning. So that's the area that we've got to be very concerned with. Switching it over here to CC, our correlation coefficient, also can be called debris tracker because it can detect debris being lofted up into the storms. Uh, right now, not seeing anything of any concern with this that would indicate we've got a lot of debris being lofted up into the storms. So that is certainly some good news. Uh, hopefully it stays that way. We'll switch it over here to rotation detector. And again, it's hinting some broad rotation in this area, but I'm not seeing anything extremely tight at the moment. However, this storm has been showing some rotation all along, and at times it can tighten up uh, in a very short uh, amount of time. So you've got to be prepared and be taking those tornado precautions uh, just in case it would happen to do that. So let's uh, switch it back here. Let's zoom back out. Kind of give us an overview of what's happening across the area. We'll go back to the Tulsa radar here to kind of scan the skies. And again, this is pretty much uh, the one storm that we've got to keep an eye on here as it does move off to the east. You can see everybody else fairly quiet. And we were talking, there's going to be a lot of us that get through the night tonight, probably not have any storms at all. But where we do get those storms, they could be quite intense. And that's what we're seeing here right across western Osage. We just got a new severe thunderstorm warning as well. We might be getting a uh, what you call a left split off of this storm where the supercell can split. You have your right split, which is the more dominant storm, and then you'll have one that'll split off to the left and track off to the north and east that can sometimes drop quite a bit of hail. So we've got an extension here of the severe thunderstorm warning now that does go back up over Highway 60. We'll zoom in just a little closer here uh, into that. And again, right here is uh, Highway 60. There's Burbank. And we've got that uh, severe thunderstorm warning now. And that does include Highway 60 areas here and near 
Scheidler. And again, that is for this area that's tracking off to the north that could potentially bring some hail. Notice here near Gray Horse, so we're getting some pretty high reflectivity at the moment. If we switch it over here to hail detector, not extremely large hail. It might just be a situation, you know, sometimes high reflectivity doesn't necessarily mean giant hail. It can just be a lot of small hail and you'll still get very high reflectivity returns. And so uh, that might be what we're looking at here because our hail detector, we're not seeing anything here extremely large, but certainly severe hail, maybe about an inch in diameter, half inch in diameter. So anywhere here from Fairfax uh, to up to about Remington and back to Ralston again, could be seeing some hail, maybe up to about an inch or so in diameter and one inch diameter hail is considered uh, severe hail. Anything below an inch in diameter is not considered severe. So uh, again, just because you're getting hail doesn't necessarily mean it's severe, but uh, in this case, uh, it most certainly is. So we've got uh, some one inch diameter hail possible with this along with 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Let's switch it back over to velocity and get another look here at this rotation. And again, the rotation fairly broad here, but it is still there. And again, kind of this area right near Ralston. This is where it's been sitting, if I feel like, for the last few minutes, and it's just gradually and slowly trying to work its way eastward as it does a track here to the east. Again, we're looking from the Tulsa radar site now near Inola, so now our red outbounds are going to be going in this direction. Our green inbounds will be going in this direction, and we're not seeing much here in the way of very tight rotation, but uh, just watching this closely, if we switch it back over to reflectivity here, uh, again, might be going through a side Cycle again. It looks like this leading edge here might be the leading edge of our of our RFD, and again, maybe a new area of circulation might be trying to get organized here a little farther to the east here in the far south and western portions of Osage County, maybe right on the Arkansas line here. So I think we might be getting uh, this storm beginning to cycle just a bit. It's not uncommon. We just talked about that before. Not uncommon for these supercells to cycle. You get an area of rotation that'll tighten up. That rotation will weaken off, and then east downstream stream you'll get another area of rotation to begin to form and sometimes they that old area rotation will still have a tornado on it when the new rotation forms a tornado and sometimes you can get twin tornadoes like that but that's not what's happening here but it's not uncommon uh, to see that in extreme cases so let's zoom in here again I think we might be getting a new area of rotation to form here just by looking how this is is this this is playing out here so again James Rogers is right here and this rotation this new area back here might be beginning to form here out to the west of Hominy. So if we switch it back over to uh, check our rotation, this is the area that I'm kind of watching here where we might be getting new rotation beginning to form. And there it is right there. You can see our green inbounds here, our red outbounds here. So I do think we might be seeing this cycle a little bit. We still have that old rotation though back here near Ralston. It's still rotating. So again, take those tornado precautions in Ralston. You're not out of the woods just yet. You've still got that tornado warning effect, but just want to watch this area close here a little farther to the east as they might be getting a new area of rotation to form uh, as this uh, comes its way eastward, almost coming right down Highway 20 uh, here between Ralston and Hominy. So right here is James Rogers in Hominy. Uh, let's see if uh, we have a shot from uh, his vantage point. And uh, again, he's going to be in really good position on this storm as it does come here to the east. And let's see if we can get James Rogers shot up here and uh, kind of show you where he is at right now. And you can see there to the right of your screen, uh, you can see James shot. He's working his way right around Hominy, working to get in position on this storm. And uh, as soon as uh, we get James in position, I uh, would love to have a chance to talk with him, just kind of see what he's seeing here as he repositions on this storm as it does move off to the east. Uh, so i um, watching that close. And again, perhaps new area of rotation trying to develop here to the east of the old area, which is still hanging on uh, back near Ralston. Let's switch this uh, back over to reflectivity, see what it looks like here real quick. Just give me an idea of what this is trying to do. And again, looking at this, we've got our hook right here. So our, in, our inflow is going to be coming in this direction, and there's the RFD and the hook. I mean, we still got that old rotation barely holding on back here uh, near Ralston, so you're not out of the woods yet, but I do think we're seeing a new area of rotation beginning to form here to the east, and so need to watch this closely as it continues to come off to the east. And again, there is uh, James Rogers right here uh, getting in position on this storm. James, uh, you are right in a perfect spot here on this storm. I said, I could see your location here south of Hominy. As you've come south now and gotten into position, what have you seen from since we last talked to you? Uh, you know, actually, Michael, the, the lightning is 
way less intense than it was earlier. We still, I still don't have any, uh, not in any inflow winds here where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm trying to find a spot here where I can see. I was in town. I, I couldn't see because of the, the trees and stuff. So I got south here a little bit where I have a little bit of vision to the west. But uh, it, it appears that it's a lot less intense than it was 15 minutes ago. I appreciate that, uh, James. And again, if uh, seeing that uh, lightning perhaps uh, come down a little bit, that might be a good sign. Uh, but uh, again, uh, we we'll, may come back to here, James, as this gets a little bit closer and then you have a chance to get a view. Uh, may have a good chance to uh, talk to you again here shortly. But let's go ahead back here and get a look at what we've got on here. There is uh, uh, James right here. Again, he's working on getting in a good spot here to give us a good view of this storm. You can see, uh, again, a very intense super supercell here let's switch it back over here again the hail hasn't been too large in the last few checks and again we're still got to hail that right now is not showing anything too extreme earlier when we were tracking this storm across noble county we were getting some instances where it could be as big as two two and a half inches in diameter that has certainly come down quite a bit here in the last few uh scans so that is certainly some good news there we love to see that and maybe a slight uptick here uh farther downstream here as this does track off to the east if we switch it back over to reflectivity Again, there's the area that we're looking here. There's James right there. If we go back to uh, storm relative velocity, again, uh, looking at areas here, possible rotation. Again, it looks like it's trying to reorganize a new area of rotation here uh, just to the south here of Highway 20. It does look like it might be struggling a little bit in doing so, but uh, certainly going through a reorganization phase. Here is a look at uh, the uh, new uh, the uh, velocity data. And again, just had a new tornado warning now issued uh, for O. Sage as this continues to track off to the east. So this is the new tornado warning that is out until 11 o'clock now uh, this evening. So again, uh, seeing that new area here, that's what we were watching. Uh, one here, still have that rotation back here. That rotation is still holding on here. I don't want to let our guard down with this one back here near Ralston. It has just come through here uh, between Fairfax and Ralston. Again, that is still tracking here to the east. We've got this new area here as well, a little farther down to the south and east of there that we've got to keep a close eye on too. So it uh, looks like this circulation or the storm, I should say, is cycling, getting a new circulation to form a little farther east, but we still have that old one holding on back here. Uh, we can't not let our guard down with that either. So let's uh, get an updated look here. Uh, Brandon, if you have a chance to let me know what the uh, speed is on the new tornado warning. It and looks like do... they're keeping it the same east at 45. East at 45. All right. Sounds excellent. And, and again, uh, we will uh, take a zoom out here and I'm going to zoom back in just to reposition our map here so I can track this to the east at 45 miles per hour. I just want to make sure we get these up here and uh, get the communities up uh, possibly in the path here of uh, this particular uh, storm here. So let me just go in just a little bit tighter here, see if we get a few more communities to pop up. And again, James Rogers really in good position here. We've got Mark Folta out as well. He's here. Uh, looks like Highway 20 and Highway 75 and Sky Took. So he's going to be in a really good spot as well as this comes to the east. So let me go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick track on this. Again, uh, two areas that we're watching here. We've got the one out here to the north and west and in the new circulation that's forming right here. And so let's uh, track this, uh, the new circulation that we've got here. So Hominy eventually uh, downstream here and at 45 miles per hour, that will take it here uh, right near the Washington and uh, uh, Tulsa County line here as we get closer to about 11 o'clock or so. So got to watch that here closely as it moves off to the east. So right now, tornado precautions need to take those tornado precautions in Hominy. I've got 1030 here on the time. So we're within 10 minutes now of the possible the, uh, tornado moving on through Morgan's Corner at about 1044. Uh, Nichols at about 10. 50, uh, Avant at about 10.55, Skytook at about 11 o'clock, Sperry 11.02, Ramona at about 11.06. And again, some of these communities are going to be a little farther uh, downwind here uh, outside of that tornado warning, uh, but just know if the storm were to hold together and it continues to the east, you would eventually potentially be in the path here of this tornado warned storm. So always good to get a little early heads up before that tornado warning is officially issued just in case uh, this does hold together and work its way in your direction. As of right now, if as long as it continues this track, for those of you here downtown Tulsa, as you head over here to areas around Manford, 
Looks like this is going to stay to your north, which would certainly be good news uh, for you folks there. But right now, Hominy, uh, even Barnsdall to around Avant, and also here Ramona uh, over to around Skytook. Definitely need to be taking those tornado precautions right now. You want interior room away from any outside walls and windows. And again, you want as many walls between you and the outside as possible just to add a little extra buffer, a little extra barrier, barrier of protection just in case. Uh, this uh, tornado warning uh, would become a, even a confirmed tornado warning. Right now, we've got a rotation with this potential for a tornado to form here. So let's go ahead and uh, remove that. And you can still see the area of concern here right to the west here of Hominy. And uh, we've got James Rogers right here in position. And uh, again, with this new tornado warning issue, you've got to watch this closely. You can also see this rotation. And uh, sometimes you see this. I think this rotation is actually tracking off to the north north and to the east. Let me play this a little bit. And uh, again, you don't, uh, or perhaps let me see if that goes one more time there. So we got basically got two areas that we're looking at here. We've got the one here and the other one farther here to the south. So I may track this other rotation too, just to uh, play it safe, because that is definitely an area worth watching too. So we've got the two areas of circulation that we're watching at this one, and we've got this one back here too. So let me track this other one as well. And uh, we'll track this one here, uh, maybe just slightly north of east at about the same speed. So again, Winona, 1043. We're looking at Talent, 1054. Barnsdall, 1056. Uh, Nichols at about 1057. Osage uh, Hills State Park about 11, Willow Rock at about 1101. So again, those are the areas that we're watching closely with this as it does move off to the north and to the east. Let's see if what uh, James Rogers, he's right here in position on this storm uh, south of Hominy. Let's see what his shot looks like. And if we do have James, uh, would certainly like to get an update from him from what he is seeing. Uh, again, there is James' shot there, but we can see the lightning flashing as uh, we've got his shot here as he's looking back at this storm. Storm here south of Hominy, and again, uh, quite the dangerous storm here. There you can see the lightning flashing again as we look here. I'm assuming looking back here, kind of more toward the north and northwest from his location. Uh, do we have James on the line? Okay, we do have James. James, uh, I've uh, got an update of you here from uh, your vantage point. Uh, you've had a chance to pull over. I can see any updates uh, from what you've seen. Uh, Hold on just a second. That's all right. Uh, we'll get. We'll come back to James. I think he's uh, still trying to work on a few things here and uh, get in position. But uh, we've still got your vantage point here. We can see uh, what you are seeing at the moment. And uh, let's go ahead back here to velocity data real quick. And again, uh, looking here, let me take that track off there. And so we can get to a look at what we've got. And I may zoom in just a little closer here. It looks like we're getting some new scans in here. And, and the storm is uh, continuing to just evolve uh, as they, they all do as they uh, continue continue to work off to the east, but kind of watching Again, they got the green inbounds here going to the Tulsa radar site. This is your RFD wrapping around here, and then your uh, outbounds would be the inflow going into the storm. And as we switch it back over to reflectivity, uh, definitely looks like, uh, uh, it, you know, it's uh, got one area. Let me go ahead and do that real quick, and then we'll go ahead and pan back here uh, to the south and west. So uh, we've got this area here, and this is part of the RFD surge right here. So that's where the winds are going to pick up here out of the west. But that area of circulation would be back in here. And then we were talking about that second area of circulation a little farther here to the north and to the west. That's uh, somewhat the weakening area of circulation that we had earlier. That is still holding on here uh, back farther to the north and to the west. So we've got to watch that. And again, and kind of keeping an eye on this area here to the west of Hominy. And again, there is James' location there. Right now, if you are in Hominy, definitely be taking those tornado precautions at the moment. Thankfully, the rotation, uh, it doesn't look extremely tight right now, but it is there. And it, again, it wouldn't take much to tighten up for us here and, and, and uh, to be a real problem. But right now, uh, still watching this area out here to the west of Hominy. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Let's get back here into reflectivity. And just to let you know, elsewhere across green country, it is is it's all quiet at the moment. We don't have a whole lot going here to the south. And as we were mentioning uh, earlier, we figured it might just be 
you know, one or two storms that have a chance to really do anything today, and that's exactly what has happened. Uh, the storms here right now in parts of Kansas, they are not severe warned anymore. So those of you here, Chautauqua County, uh, into Montgomery County, Labette County, right now things are quiet. By far, our most dangerous storm is this one right here, tracking across parts of Osage. Let's zoom in just a little bit closer here. Uh, back into this, looking at the reflectivity data. Again, uh, still a very strong supercell thunderstorm here. And the area of concern almost right along high 20, uh, uh, Highway 20 and moving off to the east, but we still have an area of circulation uh, back to the north and west that we're just kind of closely watching back here to the uh, south and to the east here of Fairfax. And again, here's this other area of rotation that we're talking here, uh, very close to Hominy, and everything is moving off to the east at about 40 to 45 miles per hour. Mark Fulta sitting here, Highway 20 and Highway 75, waiting for it to come to him. So we'll zoom in another, again, a little closer here. Let's go right back into Hominy. Just kind of keep an eye on this area. Again, James, we've got your location here. It looks like that storm's getting very close to you right now. Uh, what are you seeing right now from your location? Uh, yeah, just as you started talking about the RSD, I got hit with the RSD here south of Hominy. Uh, unfortunately, might be breaking up a little bit here. Sometimes that cell service connection can be a little difficult, but I could briefly hear you saying, James, that uh, uh, you were getting hit by the RFD. And if we go back here to dual Doppler, we can actually show that. There's the green inbounds right here. So the RFD, and I've, I've mentioned this a few times, that's the area that wraps around the backside of a supercell and then surges forward. So that's why we've got all these green inbounds here. And sometimes that wind on the leading edge of that RFD and even back into it, can be quite strong and damaging. Sometimes you get damaging straight line winds out of an RFD surge. And so uh, James was just saying that he was just hit with the RFD here. Not saying that those uh, winds right now are intense enough to do any damage, but it's certainly a possibility. But uh, James right now, that is the leading edge of the RFD. And if we switch it back over to reflectivity, you'll probably see, again, there's that right there. That's the edge of it right there. And again, now we're seeing that area move into Hominy at the moment. So again, uh, lightly, lots of lightning here. We've got that area of rotation back here very close to Hominy. So I would certainly be taking those tornado precautions right now in Hominy. Uh, you, you know, again, better safe than, than sorry. So again, as many interior or as many walls between you and the outside as possible, lowest floor possible right now in Hominy. Take those tornado precautions. Uh, definitely want to do that. Working uh, here to the east as this continues uh, to move off to the east. Again, this is uh, going to come almost right here near uh, Sky Took Lake, near the Morgan's Corner vicinity. And again, as we pan a little farther here to the east, eventually, if it holds together, could work its way here to around Sky Took, northern portions here of Tulsa County as well, if it continues the easterly track that it is taking. I believe we've got James back on the phone here. Again, we had some cell service issues, which is not uncommon. Uh, James, uh, we lost you there for a second. Uh, uh, tell us again what you were trying to say. Yeah, I was just it, say I was just telling you earlier that I got hit with the RFD just as you were talking about it. I, I was trying to get up the hill here, just a little bit south of Hominy, where I could see, and now I'm I'm getting into some hail right here up on top of the hill south of Hominy. I can actually occasionally see a few of those hailstones uh, bouncing there off the road. Uh, I saw it there at least briefly. There was one right there. Uh, appreciate you, James. And again, uh, any idea how strong that RFD wind might have been? Uh, I'm saying probably maybe 40, 45. Sounds good. Uh, good to keep it on that level than, than up to severe levels, but certainly some gusty winds and enough to uh, blow a few things around. That is for sure. So there is James right there. He is on Highway uh, 99 just south of Hominy, and there is his location right there. And again, he's feeling the winds, uh, the RFD winds right now of this storm as those surge here to the south of Hominy, and he says he's even getting a little bit of hail. You can see the main reflectivity still back here to his north and west, but already getting a little bit of hail uh, 
few and far between to those hailstones uh, as he's working his way south here into a safer position along Highway 99. Now you can see that's uh, coming into Hominy as we speak. Let's switch it back over here to uh, the velocity data real quick. Just want to give you another update with what's happening here. Again, the rotation uh, we've got here. Fairly broad rotation right now, but you can still see the inbounds here uh, uh, just near Hominy, and there are outbounds. So right now that rotation is almost right on top of Hominy. And we've got another area back here that's just been kind of holding on here back farther to the north and west as well that I don't want to let my guard down with uh, as we watch that area back to the north and west. So kind of two areas that we're closely watching here with this. Uh, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and switch it over to reflectivity, and then we're going to go right back in. And again, also point out here for those of you to the north, you're hearing some lightning and some thunder across parts of southeastern Kansas. We do not have any severe thunderstorm warnings, no tornado warnings in effect here. This is the one storm that we've got right now, and we have our lone tornado warning right over Osage. So again, we'll zoom in a little closer here. Uh, again, that is a strong to violent supercell thunderstorm. I do want to real quick here check on our hail detector. It doesn't look like uh, we're seeing anything too extreme and uh, probably getting a little overzealous here with some of this, uh, re with some of this return right here that just popped in here uh, to the uh, south and to the east of Hominy. If we switch it back over to uh, reflectivity, again, that's not really lining up too well. So I got a feeling that that might be just a little bit off. But back here into the core of this particular storm. Again, here into the core, seeing those hail returns coming back to maybe half inch, inch or so in diameter. So we're not looking at anything uh, extreme, but again, inch diameter hail certainly uh, would be a little bit more of a concern than say pea size or, or dime size hail. That is for sure. Let's go back here to velocity data and get another close look at this. Let me take those uh, uh, markers off of there. We'll zoom in, and I need to do another storm track on this for sure uh, as this continues to move off to the east. The rotation certainly looking uh, very broad at the moment. You can see where James is right now. He's still getting hit with that RFD, those inbound winds right here. So he's still still feeling that from his location there along Highway 99. We have Mark Falta sitting here in perfect position right along Highway 75 downstream of this as it's going to work its way eventually here in the northern Tulsa County, southern portions here of Washington County. But again, the rotation's fairly Fairly broad here, but I do want to do an update with the storm track on this uh, just to uh, give you another update on this and track it to the east. Again, fairly broad area of rotation, but let's take it here from near Hominy out to the east, close to 40 miles per hour. So we're looking at uh, Avant at about 11.01, uh, Skytook at about 11.06, Ramona about 11.14, uh, Vera at about 11.16, Collinsville 11.21, Limestone 11.30, Ulaga at about 11.32, Talala at about 11.33, as well as Keatonville. So again, a lot of these communities are going to be outside of the tornado warning, but just one of those things I want to give you a heads up here that if this storm were continue to hold together, uh, you would eventually be uh, under the gun possibly with this uh, if it were to hold together uh, farther downwind. So for those of you to the east, just want to give you an update on that uh, just in case it does hold together. So just be watching this closely. Of course, we will continue to watch it closely as well. But again, looking at the, the velocity data here, fairly broad rotation with this as we go back to reflectivity, uh, perhaps maybe trying to get another cycle here. I feel like it's been cycling quite a bit, uh, not really having a, or having a hard time uh, really wrapping up tightly, but uh, still showing signs of rotation here. There's no doubt about it. And again, seeing that uh, RFD surge, you can see the inbounds that we've got here, that RFD working well here with uh, what James was saying, probably close to four. 40 to 45 mile per hour winds here south of Hominy with that RFD pushing off to the south and to the east. So uh, looking here, there's Mark Fulton. We've got Sky Took right here, Highway 11. Looks like right now, Barnsdall uh, still under that tornado warning yet again, unfortunately. Uh, the main circulation that was currently back here to your south and west, still watching this area here too, farther to the north. Again, that's another area that we've been closely watching. Uh, so kind of two areas here. If you look at reflectivity, it doesn't look like anything too interesting going on back there, but maybe a broad area of rotation on the backside of that storm. But uh, noticing now maybe a little more higher reflectivity here showing up. Let's switch it back over here to hail detector, see if we've had an uptick there at all, and perhaps a little bit more of an uptick here just to the north and to the west of Morgan Center. If we do our uh, 
uh, eyedropper here. We can actually click on some of these to see what we've got, inch, inch and a half diameter hail, uh, perhaps with this as it continues to move off to the east. Just have seen that, uh, again, just pick up a little bit here in the reflectivity data. Uh, so certainly seeing that as it does move here off to the east. But this is our lone a storm right now that we've got in the area, but it is a violent storm, unfortunately, and still a tornado warning in effect here for parts of Osage County as this continues to move here off to the east. Brandon, we've been tracking uh, these storms well out to the west starting this afternoon. What do you have right now? That is right, Michael. That slow progression in throughout the evening and overnight hours. And from the National Weather Service, just to remind you that we still do have this tornado watch posted in yellow until 11 o'clock tonight. So about the next 20 to 25 minutes for Osage and off towards the south. So counties to the west of Tulsa County, but Tulsa County and Washington County and counties to the east of that posted until five o'clock in the morning. So if we can keep that supercell going and maybe cycling over the next couple of minutes or maybe even another storm will form, we'll have to keep track of this in throughout the early morning hours. Hopefully we can cancel that watch early, but the new extension of the watch goes all the way through 5 a.m. Michael. I appreciate that, uh, Brandon. And again, we'll uh, stay with you through the night if needed uh, as we continue to watch uh, these storms move off to the east. As Brandon was pointing out, hopefully what will happen is as this continues to move off to the east, we won't have anything else develop behind it and we'll be able to perhaps, at least for our area, cancel that watch a little bit early. Uh, that would be wonderful news for a lot of us. So uh, let's hope that trend continues and, and that's how this plays out. But right now, I uh, still have this uh, area here uh, tracking uh, right over eastern portions of Osage County. Still that tornado warning in effect. Mark Falta, uh, if we have Mark on the line or if we don't, let's see if we can get him on the line. I do want to see his shot full here because he's in a great position here and uh, looking here off to the west. And again, uh, from his vantage point, I can see some lightning off into the distance and occasionally when that lightning flashes you can get an idea of some of the structure of this storm and again mark i don't know can you hear me mark okay so still 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 waiting uh, to get mark on the line but we'll talk to him as soon as he can as soon as we can he's uh, still several miles as you can see i mean that, that storm now leading here into morgan's corner and uh, mark is back here still uh, to the east of Skytook, but he is in prime position here uh, to watch this storm as it comes to the east. Uh, Mark, uh, we've got your location here along Highway 75, and occasionally seeing that lightning flashing from your vantage point. You're in a perfect spot on this storm as it comes in, into your area. Uh, what are you seeing right now? Well, definitely seeing the lightning, and uh, the inflow is picked up here, backing pretty much, it seems like, due east. So the storm is pulling in inflow. It's got some good flow into it. I'm also seeing some inflow feeder bands coming in from the northeast up at the base of the storm on the northeast side. So uh, it's getting some inflow. Uh, I'm right here in the perfect spot. I may actually have to drop south about a mile, but uh, I'm right here to see it as it approaches. So uh, as soon as I see anything uh, kind of volatile or anything on the ground or anything, I'll definitely let you know, Michael. I appreciate it, Mark. And again, uh, Mark Folter, he's in a, a really good spot here. Uh, we can see the lightning flashing. And I, and I actually earlier did see uh, some of those inflow bands that you were talking about. Haven't seen it le lately with some of those lightning flashes, but I did see it briefly uh, earlier in one of those shots. And again, uh, really watching this storm closely. You've got Mark there. Uh, it looks like James Rogers is now coming back up behind the storm. It looks like he's going to come in behind this storm here. So he drops south just to let it uh, pass by him. But there's James here on Highway 99, and we can kind of follow his progress. He's probably going to work his way back up here to near Hominy and maybe come in behind it along Highway 20. Mark in prime position here uh, to the east as the storm does move on in. And again, we still have that tornado warning in effect here with this storm. Let's switch it back over to velocity data. Just get a look at what the velocity is doing. And we're still seeing that surge here of these uh, of that RFD. Again, James was here south of uh, Hominy as that RFD hit him. And he was thinking about 40 to 40. 45 mile prior winds just with that RFD coming through. So again, not severe, but that's some fairly gusty wind and still seeing that 
RFD surge. So right now, uh, Morgan's Corner, you're very close to this rotation. Morgan's Corner, take those tornado precautions right now. Uh, definitely need to be uh, in an interior room, lowest level of your building, whether you're still at your place of work at this hour or whether you are at home. Definitely want to take uh, those tornado precautions right now. Again, if you have a helmet, put on that helmet, bicycle helmet, football helmet, baseball helmet, motorcycle helmet, whatever you got, go ahead and do that. And again, I just want to make sure you protect yourself just in case uh, you would happen to have any damage. And of course, I always recommend as well uh, putting on a good pair of shoes. If you have some boots, even better yet, those are even better yet uh, to handle perhaps any debris or broken glass that might occur if a tornado does occur. So again, watching this area here might be trying to at least uh, strengthen a little bit. You can see the returns here on our reflectivity. I switch it over to storm relative velocity here. I should returns on reflectivity, I meant the velocity. And right here is the area that we're watching. This is just near Morgan's Corner and to the south and to the west. And maybe perhaps seeing this perhaps try to tighten up at least a little bit. We've been watching this storm cycle some as, uh, as it comes in. And we heard Mark here, he is right here along Highway 75. So what he was telling us, and that's very important information, it may not mean much when you hear him say it, but it means a lot to me and to anybody that uh, is a storm spotter or a meteorologist. He was saying he's got winds due east. So uh, if the normal wind flow today was pretty much out of the south to southeast. So those winds are being turned to the east. He's got due east winds, which means this storm right now is sucking in air. So with his location, it's turned what was normally a south to southeast wind to the east. So he's feeling that inflow being pulled into the storm. And that's a good idea to know that this storm, hey, it's ingesting air. It is still strong. And so that was actually very important information to know that he had an easterly wind here along Highway 75. And you can definitely see we've got the rotation ongoing here. Uh, Morgan's Corner back off to the south and to the west. So again, tornado precautions right now. I'm going to do another storm track on this because that is definitely looking a little more organized than what it was looking about five to 10 minutes ago. So let's do another quick storm track on this. We've been watching this thing cycle. I feel like uh, for the last half hour or so, just kind of cycling back and forth here. So tracking that, oh, let me redo that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give myself just a little bit more room here. So I'm gonna have to back up and then uh, we'll zoom back in here because uh, the forward speed on this has been about 40 to 45 miles per hour. So I just wanna make sure I give myself a little room to draw that track on there. So let's go here back to where we've got that rotation. You can see it right there. There's our inbounds. There's our outbounds. Right there's the rotation. It is as clear as day. We'll go ahead and draw that track on here. Let's go ahead and draw that off to the east at about 40 to 45 miles per hour. So we're looking at Skytook at about 11.02, Sperry 11.03, Mingo at about 11.15, Collinsville 11.15, Owasso 11.15, Limestone 11.22, Stone Canyon 11.22, Catoosa 11.25, Keatonville 11.26, Ulaga. 1127. Again, a lot of these communities currently not under a tornado warning, but again, if this was continued to hold together, potentially could see this tornado warning extended farther to the east. So I just want to give you a heads up that, hey, we've got a dangerous storm out here to your west. So if you are here to the east, you might not be under a tornado warning right now, but if the storm holds together, potentially could be under a tornado warning as this continues to move here off to the east. Let's go back now. Let me see here. Let me take that storm track off. I'm going to go back in a little tighter. That is still uh, some pretty good rotation here uh, right there. So let's go in just a little bit tighter here to just examine this a little bit uh, because that uh, definitely some of the tighter rotation that we've had over the last 10 to 15 minutes, that's for sure. Uh, again, it's not extremely tight, but boy, we've got greens and reds here right together. So right there it is here, just to the south of Morgan Center. Let's switch it here to get a look at our rotational track. It should pop in right there, right on track. That's right where we were looking. Let's uh, just real quick here, take a look at correlation coefficient and uh, tough to see uh, what we've got going on there. It doesn't look like much. Let me see, back to reflectivity right here. Boy, that hook right there looks rather interesting, Brandon. I'll tell you what, that, uh, uh, that hook looks really interesting here on this. Yeah. Velocity data, again. Lots of cycling tonight. Yeah, lots of cycling. This thing's really cycled back up here. Uh, I would certainly uh, be very careful with this right now. I, I, I 
definitely am concerned with what we're seeing here because it looks like it is starting to perhaps tighten up a bit. We'll see what happens. It could, you know, what we've seen, we've seen these uh, cycle up where they'll tighten up and then they quickly weaken. But right now, this is uh, certainly a, a little more concerning than it was looking about five to 10 minutes ago here. Uh, switching it back here to rotational tracker. Again, that's the area right here, just to the south and to the west here of Morgan's Corner. So uh, tornado precautions right now, Morgan's Corner, just in case this would happen to perhaps curve back up in your direction, make sure uh, you are taking your tornado precautions right now in Morgan's Corner. Uh, again, definitely need to uh, be in an interior room, lowest floor of whatever building you're in, home, place of work, definitely need to be uh, taking those tornado precautions right now. Here is the latest update on our rotational track. Let's see if we We've got an update here with our storm relative velocity. Maybe not quite as tight. There's a little more gray area here between our reds and greens, but that is still rather concerning just to see that regular velocity data. You can see the strong inbounds here with our RFD that's surging here. And then our outbounds here would be the inflow uh, getting pulled into the storm. So right in here would be that rotation. Everything lines up and it's going to line up right here with that hook as well. So again, keeping a close eye on this. James Rogers, he's actually not in a bad spot here coming in from behind this storm. And uh, we'll have to keep an eye on James Rogers' shot just in case uh, this does try to wrap up. He may have a chance to get a good vantage point of this uh, as he's coming in from behind. So he's working his way here along Highway 20. That uh, hook echo right there it is. So you got your hail and all your heavy rain up here to the north. And again, there's the hook right there. And so that is the area of concern right over Morgan's Corner at the moment. Again, take those tornado precautions right now. We just got another updated scan here. Look at storm relative velocity. Still seeing that here to the now uh, beginning to move here a little more off to the south and to the east. If we put the reflectivity up there, you can see some of this is not quite lining up completely. We're getting that RFD that right here is the leading edge of the RFD. You can actually see that right there that kind of feeds them back in to where the rotation is. And our inflow here, that inflow notch is right there. So this is the area where it would be right in that area. So again, just got to watch this. Let's do another quick storm track on this just to play it uh, cautious here uh, because it does look like this storm is trying to wrap up perhaps a little bit more than what uh, we were seeing about 10 minutes ago. So let me grab that storm tracker on here. I'm going to take it right here from about Morgan's Corner. We're going to track this off to the east. You can see there's Mark Fulta's location. And again, tracking this here off to the east. We're looking at Sky Took at about 11.07. Uh, eventually here to around Collinsville at about 11.23. And I may have dropped that maybe just slightly south of east. Let me just uh, push that back a little bit farther here. And now we'll drop back on here. So let's make sure we get this to go uh, due east. That would be very important important. And again, tracking here off to the due uh, east. Uh, Sperry at about 1109. Collinsville 1122. Owasso 1122. Limestone 1131. Stone Canyon 1131. Keatonville about 1135. Again, a lot of these locations here uh, currently not under tornado warning, but we've got a dangerous storm here out to the west. Currently tornado warned for Osage County and just need to watch this as it continues to move here off to the east. So again, watching this closely. There's Mark Fulta's location here. He's watching this uh, from his location. He's going to have a great view here. Uh, okay, let's get Mark on the. Let's get Mark on here. He says he's got something right now. Uh, let's get Mark on the line if we've got him. Uh, let's get a shot up here. Okay, uh, Mark, we've got you on the line. Uh, what are you seeing right now? Well, what I wanted to mention, we were talking a while ago, you can probably see my shot, the way the grass is blowing, the due east inflow in this thing is really picking up. I've dropped down to Highway 20, and I'm looking at due west. I've got good inflow winds out of the east, and still, uh, you know, we call it several things, beaver tail, inflow tail, whatever. There's still one of those. It's kind of not as organized as it was, but it's still feeding in to the, wrapping into the northeast side of this thing. So if... It appears right now this might come right through Skyatook, if if I'm correct. And if, if that does happen, I'll probably be seeing power flashes if there's anything on the ground or high winds. So uh, just uh, keep me in your ear if you can, and I'll let you know if I see any uh, power flash or anything. But I just wanted to let you know about the inflow, Michael. I appreciate that, Mark. And, yeah, uh, that inflow. And I had mentioned actually uh, a moment ago when you mentioned that earlier how important that uh, information was that Mark gave us about that easterly inflow because, again, the normal winds today – 
were out of the south and southeast. So this storm is creating its own environment. It is turning that normal wind flow out of the south and turning it due east because it's literally sucking the air into the storm. And so Mark is feeling that with an easterly wind getting pulled right into this inflow region. So right here, again, this is your RFD right here that's surging around the backside. The inflow gets pulled right in here. So what's happening is that that uh, inflow is uh, being ingested into the storm. And we've got Mark here again. Uh, again, tornado warning now has been extended here for northern Tulsa County and into Rogers County. Mark, we've got you back up. What are you seeing? I'm sorry, Michael, you, you there? Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, just uh, toss to you. I thought maybe you had another update coming up. Um, but uh, if you've got anything new, uh, we'll certainly uh, be glad to uh, let you uh, uh, pass it on. Uh, we just saw the tornado warning issue here for northern Tulsa County and also now extended into parts of Rogers County as well. Yes, I did. And I'm keeping an eye. It's still continuing to move towards me. So you just check back with me in a couple of minutes as it gets closer. All right. Will do. Appreciate that, Mark. Uh, okay. I think, thank you so much. And again, this is going to be coming right toward Mark right now. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more here because I want to see this uh, tornado warning. It looks like it also includes here far north and western portions here of Wagner County. So again, this is a very dangerous storm here. We've got uh, James Rogers out there as well. He has been on this storm too as it came through Hominy. And again, as we uh, zoom in here uh, closer right now, again, looking at a very strong supercell here. New tornado warning. So I do want to get another track on this as it does um, move here a little farther uh, to the east. So there's Mark's location. Again, he is in a prime spot here uh, as uh, we get a look at this. And let me just draw this uh, track on here real quick because I definitely want to update this now that we've got the new tornado warning. So we're going to take it right here, track this off to the east, maybe slightly south of east and about 40 miles per hour or so. So as Mark was pointing out, he's in position here. This is going to come very close to Skytook at about 11.05 is what we're tracking here with the time. Again, give yourself a little wiggle room. You should be taking those tornado precautions right now. Don't uh, waste any time uh, to take those tornado precautions. Interior room away from any outside, outside walls and windows, lowest floor possible. Uh, Sperry, 11.08. Collinsville at around 11.18. Owasso, 11.19. Limestone, Stone around 1127, Stone Canyon 1127, Keatonville 1130, uh, Catusa at around 1132. And again, uh, some of these communities here as we get farther downstream, including Claremore, eventually possibly here along Highway 69, prior Choteau, need to watch this closely here as it continues to move off to the east, maybe a slightly south of east track with what it's uh, doing right now. Uh, let's switch this back over here to the velocity velocity data because I haven't looked at in a bit and I do want to see how this looks uh, as far as the rotation is concerned. And we're going to zoom in a little closer here uh, into this again where Mark is at. He has got a uh, strong easterly winds. That's the air that's being pulled into this storm. Here's our, our rear flank downdraft portion of the storm. That's the uh, RFD. And again, we've got those inbound winds coming in this direction. Um, we had James Rogers south of Hominy measure about 40 to 45 mile per hour winds uh, with that as it came through south of Hominy. But right in this area here is where that rotation will be. Switch it over to storm relative velocity. That might give us a little cleaner picture here. And there you can see it again, just that broad area of rotation here. Now it looks like maybe a little more to the south and to the west here. Sky took, let's see what it looks like when we pull up reflectivity. So it's going to be right about in here, almost uh, west, maybe slightly south, but pretty much now due west here of Sky took is where we're looking at that. So we do want to make sure this lines up with where we've got the reflectivity and where we've got that area of circulation that uh, we are tracking. So again, uh, this area here to the west, maybe slightly south and west of Sky took is the area of concern. We've got Mark right here. He is right along Highway 20. We've had his vantage point here looking uh, to the west. We want to get his shot up here real quick. I'm just kind of curious to what he's seeing here from his location as uh, he's sitting right along Highway 20 and uh, looking right into the inflow region here of this storm and the area of concern. So if we can get his, just uh, his shot up, uh, let's see if we can get uh, Mark Fulta's uh, shot up uh, and just uh, see what he's got here along Highway 20. And again, uh, don't have to talk to him. I just uh, want to see what his shot looks like. But uh, again, looking here from his location, uh, we've got that circulation. It's right in here. So there's the, the end of that hook echo, and that is the area of concern. So there is Mark's vent 
vantage point there. He is along Highway 20. We're going to need some lightning, hopefully, to, to help us out here, get a view of what he is seeing here. There's a little flash there, uh, but he is in a, a really good spot to get a good view of this storm. We just need some lightning uh, to perhaps help us out, see what uh, we can see here visually uh, with this storm. But there is Mark's spot, and uh, we'll come back here. Not seeing a lot of lightning at the moment, so... Uh, hoping that we would get that storm to be illuminated just a little bit more. Uh, again, just watching this closely here as it does move off to the east and to the south and east. And you can see there to the right of your screen that tornado warning is in effect now northern Tulsa County uh, into Rogers County. There's that area of rotation just off to the west now of Skytook. So let's take a look back here. Let's go back to storm relative velocity data. And that circulation fairly broad right now, but it's right here to the south and to the west of Skytook. So it might be, uh, again, uh, perhaps trying to cycle once again, but that's still still here. There's our inbounds here. There's our outbounds there. Uh, definitely got to watch this. This is now getting ready to come across here into areas of uh, northern Tulsa County. So here near Skytook, down to around Sperry absolutely need to be taking those tornado precautions right now. Again, you want yourself in an interior room. If you have a smaller room, uh, perhaps uh, a uh, bathroom or a closet, that would certainly be a, a better option than a larger room with a lot of space in it. So you want, as, again, as many walls between you and the outside, a smaller room, lowest floor possible. And don't forget uh, maybe a helmet to protect your head if you've got one and some good shoes or maybe some boots to put on to protect your feet just in case. Just in case you would happen to be getting any more any damage, hopefully we don't have to worry about that. But uh, you just have to prepare for that possibility, just in case. So here we got to, again that circulation of concern. I do want to do another quick storm track on this. It looks like we just had a uh, severe thunderstorm warning issued as well for the northern part of this uh, storm. We'll get a look at that here in just a second. Uh, but let's first here uh, zoom out, and actually we will take a look at that severe thunderstorm warning that does include areas here uh, to the north where we've got the potential for hail and damaging wind gusts, and then we'll go back in and do that storm track uh, once again. So the new severe thunderstorm warning that just popped in here, let's uh, take a look at that. And that is for this area here along Highway 75. So north of where Mark is here in Sky Took all the way up to almost Bartlesville. That is a rough go here along Highway 75, potentially uh, dealing with uh, some hail out of this. Oh, look at the hail tracker now. Uh, definitely seeing a hail detector, I should say. Definitely seeing some potentially larger hail sizes with this as it does move here off to the east and continues to organize. Let's zoom in just a little bit closer here. Now, this might be overdone just a little bit, but it's certainly indicating that the storm uh, is still quite strong and perhaps has strengthened a bit from when uh, we last checked. So looking here at some of these hail sizes, we've got inch and a half diameter hail. You can start getting into the whites and the blacks, and now we're getting into possibly even larger hailstones. Again, might be overdone a little bit. That might be what it's detecting a little higher up into the storm, and it'll have some melting that'll take place as it, as it drops down a little bit. But this does, uh, again, indicate the potential, at least, for some very large hail here uh, right on the uh Tulsa and Washington County line and northward. So that's part of the reason why we've got this new severe thunderstorm warning issued uh, here to the north. So as we pan back here to the north uh, to get a look at that, Again, we'll go ahead and take those off of here. And again, so that the severe thunderstorm warning basically uh, goes up to about Highway 60, Bartlesville, but then also here up to about Delaware in parts of uh, Nowata County. And that extends here uh, into parts of Craig County as well. And also Northern Rogers here, Northern portions here of Mays County. Let's get back here and track now that circulation because that is certainly uh, an area of concern here that is tracking now very near Sky Took and perhaps just to the south here of Sky Took. And again, there's our inbound here. There is our outbound. So we're going to take it right from that spot there and track this to the east. Very near Sperry here, right on the Tulsa and Osage County line, tracking this off to the east, maybe slightly south of east. So Owasso, 1112, Limestone at about 1120. We're looking at Stone Canyon about 1120, Keatonville at about 1124, Vertigris at about 1126. And eventually, if this were to hold together, you can see eventual communities here could potentially be areas around Pryor.